Clinton is just a sloppy criminal. Like Michael Jackson's song, Smooth Criminal. She's a sloppy criminal. I'm looking at evidence. I'm looking at the evidence of crimes, and I'm also stating like, hey, you know, President Trump needs to act. I've re Even I've reached a point where I'm like, look, President Trump needs to act. How can you have a special counsel when you don't even have evidence of an actual crime? There is no and there's never been a predicate crime for Trump Russia. There's a predicate crime for Clinton emails. She set up the server. Oh, well, what are you going to do about it? Just stand there and take it? Good morning, Marcus Conti. That's our man, H.A. E. Goodman. Oh, shit. Fucking H.A. E. H.J. Goodman's going under the frying pan, under the microscope, under the microscope, put H.A. under the microscope, ready H.A., ready for the shit, fuck, you're gonna get fucking roasted now, you're gonna get fucking roasted, man, Conti's gonna do some roasting on you, motherfucker, <laughs> not really, I love H.J. Goodman, see, I got my, <clears throat> got my ghost, see all you conspiracy theorists now, you can take this image, right, and see what, who I really am, you look into it now, I'm the ghost, I'm the fucking ghost, man, playing playing conspiracy shit cute shit on you right now man watch out so that's our man H.A. E. Goodman calling Hillary Clinton a sloppy criminal oh shit he's been fucking saying that shit for two years H.A. E. Goodman man H.A. E. Goodman's my hero <clears throat> that's why I want to do this everybody says oh Conti that's all you do you bash everybody you fucking bash you fucking bashing everybody calling them cunt faces and <laughs> bashing YouTube people <laughs> That's what people say, but not really. <clears throat> I think what's happening now is he's... I haven't watched his show in a long time, but I caught it this morning, and I was like, H.A. Goodman's still still saying the same, you know? It's like he gave the Clintons no break. We've heard from leading voices on the left, leading voices that Trump worked with Russia, that we need to investigate the possibility that Trump worked with Russia. We don't know how... There was no money trail from Russia to Trump. There's no foundation that Trump has that you can say, well, beneficial, a beneficial treatment, benef uh, donors experienced beneficial treatment after donating money. So the Clinton Foundation is like a nonstop money laundering bribery mechanism organization. Money flows into the Clinton Foundation, beneficial treatment is experienced by the people who give money and then the media the same media that says trump worked with russia say you can't prove anything even though haiti weapons deals uranium one ubs boeing um all of the 85 donors giving 156 million dollars just to see clinton you can't prove anything you can't prove anything see that's real journalism see how he makes the he makes the case and always has made the case that that there is no evidence for Trump Russia. That's it's a fake story, and it's it's actually see if you really if you really look back at 2016, the Democratic Party hijacked the word collusion. Right, the, the word collusion was something that that the Bernie Sanders people watching the way that Donna Brazile and, and Debbie Wasserman Schultz and Hillary Clinton with Robbie Mook and Eric Braverman and all these characters inside of the DNC were, were communicating directly with the media. Now, now when you look back on it now, you say, oh, well, that's, that's just what the media does. But at the time, that's something that was very, that was a very profound thing to observe where the media was in direct cahoots with the Democratic Party to rig a primary, right? And and that's where the word collusion evolved, right? And now it's they what they what the Democrats did is when they, when that word started to take root that they were colluding with the media, the Democratic Party, the savvy, you know, spin masters took it and spun it to say that Trump was colluding with the Russians. They don't utilize the same standard of logic or rational thought. With Hillary Clinton, it's how dare you bring her up. You have Clinton derangement syndrome. She's, it's already been investigated. Emails that she deleted had to do with Clinton Foundation pay-to-play schemes. So Rudy Giuliani said something very interesting. He talked about the fact that the deleted emails 
are actually evidence of a bribery scheme. When you're looking at a bribery scheme, you're also looking at destruction of evidence. So that's a very profound thing you just said. Now, that, I mean, it's we, we hear it all the time on mainstream media, but what he said was that not only is there a double standard, but the the actual evidence is in the deletion of emails. When when there's a when there's an investigation into something, right? A criminal criminal activity into something, right? Quid pro quo, right? Right? That's money laundering. That's 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 a quid pro quo. That's that it could even be treason because if you're taking money from a from a hostile nation, a foreign entity that has a political agenda like Saudi Arabia, like certain parts, certain entities in Pakistan, right? If you have someone taking money in through a foundation and then delivering favors out the back door, right? As 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 an acting Secretary of State or a dignitary, you know, Cl Hillary Clinton will forever be a dignitary. Her husband happens to be the ex-president of the United States, right? So you have evidence, right? And the deletion of the emails, as H.A. Goodman points out about Giuliani saying it, is that the emails, the deletion of emails is, is destruction of evidence. That's, those are high crimes. You can't just, ladies and gentlemen, you can't just say, well, there's, you can't, you know, media can't say, well, you can't prove that Hillary Clinton engaged in pay to play because there's no document, there's no memo that says she did. That standard of proof, that is not given to President Trump. Tr Trump's scandals, quote unquote, are all smoke, 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 smoke. Comey had exonerated Clinton before even uh, interviewing all the witnesses. There were 17 witnesses <clears throat> that were supposed to have been interviewed. He wrote the exoneration letter before the witnesses were interviewed. So he'd already lied under oath when he said, yeah, you know what? I didn't make up my mind before interviewing Clinton. He had already written the exoneration letter. It's an obvious pay to play. It's an obvious cover up over the Clinton Foundation, the pay to play Clinton Foundation schemes. Uncle Fester! Uncle Fester, please, not that. But Morticia, the family honor. The Clinton Foundation, Hillary Clinton, engaged, have engaged in so much criminal behavior this is not even it's not it's actually not a left or right issue because if trump had done what clinton had done with a server outside the united states government that transferred top secret intelligence while at the same time destroying thirty thousand plus emails without government supervision the the mere fact that that clinton was able to actually transfer top secret data outside the united states government nobody knows how she was able to do it Evidence-based journalism. That's what H.A. Goodman does, right? He makes a he makes a, a, an interesting point too, because I know a lot of people like to look at the foundation and say, ah, oh, so you know, it's so illegal what the what the Clinton Foundation uh, does and how it operates. <laughs> but what's more important about what the Clintons did and do is actually far greater than you know a, a fake a fake foundation that's designed for something else right it's not actually tax evasion and 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 violations of of uh of a foundation although those things are going on they're 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 much smaller parts of the the big take which is which is again mishandling classified information deletion of evidence deletion of thousands of emails pelosi and the democrats now control congress their first legislative agenda has absolutely nothing to do with abolishing ICE or Medicare for all. Voters were played as always. They utilized the enthusiasm and pundits on the left utilized enthusiasm, hope, and said, vote Democrat, vote Democrat. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna revamp the Democratic Party from within. It never happens. Why would like cheaters, vile, you know, just the most, the, the greatest cheaters you've ever seen in your life why would they relinquish power to idealistic people who will always vote and fall in line no matter what? Why would they do that? Pelosi knows exactly what she was doing. She's like, I, you know, there's no way that she's going to 
relinquish power and say, oh, yeah, let's run on doubling to tripling tax rates or tax collection. They have two fantasies that they work with, and people just believe the fantasies. They said, oh, well, you know what? We're going to abolish ICE, and we're going to impeach Trump based on, on, on his collusion with Russia. That's crazy. Do you ever have to wonder what Mueller is doing? No. Every day he's indicting people on some kind of trumped up, you know, ridiculous, oh, you lied. Oops, sorry, you're indicted. Like, it's not even Trump Russia. It's just, you know, they're just trying to get people, ah, 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 you know. Uh, ah, please, oh. Then there's fake news. Then there's like, oh yeah, WikiLeaks and The Guardian and, and uh, Manafort. Oops, sorry, we'll retract that. Then NPR is like, oh yeah, Trump Jr. Like, you don't have to like, with Mueller and with the media and with the Democratic Party, you don't have to say, gee, what's, what's happening behind the scenes with Mueller? If you can't reform the party, if you can't trust the the FBI and the CIA, and it's all just a mystery, what's going to happen, we're waiting for something to happen, right? I, I fundamentally disagree with that approach, right? That approach has not, is not serving us anymore, right? So the next level is, in my view, a, a form of passive resistance, a form of 100% of, uh, of boycott, right? <laughs> everybody just stops what they're doing and you bring the whole thing down the whole system down right right don't pay the, just a total a total economic and social reset at the congressional level instead of congress looking at how they're going to raise taxes on on regular people they're going to start having to look at how they can how they can cut these billionaires back down to size and let that money hit the economy so that the system doesn't just support the billionaires and it supports everybody. And I, I don't see any other way. I don't see any other way. Uh, it's just, there's too many, there's too many corrupt entities at play and there's too much money flowing in and you have, you just have to sink. You have to sink the whole system, right? You got to choke them out, right? They'll choke on their own money. Let's watch some more. We already know that Clinton purchased the Steele dossier. They don't care. We already know that Clinton Foundation engages in pay to play. They don't care. They don't care. We already know that Clinton transferred top secret intelligence from Cypernet, Jayhooks, and Skiffs onto a server outside the United States government. They don't care. They simply don't care. They don't care. They don't care. You listen to the HA, he's telling you they don't care. But why do we keep doing the same things, expecting a different result? H.A. That's that's the, the the deal, right? We know that the Democrats don't care, but you have the progressive wing of the Democratic Party trying to transform it. It's, it's a farce. It, it'll never work, right? <laughs> it's not going to work, right? You have the, the, the Trump, Trump people thinking that the president is all-powerful and he can overcome the, the entire Congress and Senate and the deep state of the CIA and the FBI that is supposed to be listening to him, <laughs> but instead is listening to, to the money, right? And uh, that's just a farce as well. So again, uh, what I'm what I'm saying is okay. So AJ points out, uh, you know, how the Democrats cheat. <laughs> All right, we know that, right? I mean, there's so much more evidence and so many more people that did research into the uh, 2016 uh, stealing of the primary against Bernie Sanders, where the machines were actually rigged. The the votes weren't counted. The poll polling places were closed. People were purged off the rolls, right? It, out, straight up cheating, right? Right. We saw all that. Democrats cheat. We know that, right? But we're doing the same things, having proceeding in the same old way, right? Same thing, right? No, there's no, there's no change, right? We're just waiting for the next fake election to roll around and call it like, oh, now everything's going to change, and nothing ever changes. Right? What else did he say? The Mueller entrapment. I mean, that's just, it's foul, and it's, now they're doing it right out in the open, and they're getting, I mean, they're getting closer and closer to anyone who has any 
who spews any any truth whatsoever. Look at you know poor Dr. Corsi, right? They, they're coming at him for communicating, maybe communicating secondhand with a publisher who exposed their corruption. I mean, it's just right. But we're, we're going about. That's what I'm trying to tell you is that we're going about things going about things the same way and expecting a different result is the definition of insanity there's no evidence of trump russia the indictments the russian nationals that were indicted were indicted only on crowd strike assessments crowd strike images given to the united states government crowd strike is a third-party tech company that was outsourced by hillary clinton and the dnc that's a conflict of interest. Obviously, they're not going to work with a, a tech company that's not going to do their bidding. Democrats, they want a Mueller probe. They want an investigator to destroy people's lives. They want people to flip and sing. But you don't get that with the Clinton debacle. Nobody is making Uma Abedin or, or, or Brian Pagliano or uh, Justin Cooper or any of them, Brian Fallon. Th their lives aren't flipped. Their lives aren't ruined. They're not, you know, constantly under a barrage of questions from FBI agents regarding what they knew about Clinton's private server that was transferring top secret intelligence outside the United States government. The money flowing into the Clinton Foundation from Boeing, from UBS, from Uranium One, from, from Haiti, from 85 donors giving $156 million from weapons deals. These are all the 500 conflicts of interest that one Clinton Foundation employee actually talked about in his own email, it is an obvious bribery racket. It's, it's masterful how he, he tells you what the problem is, right? We, we know what the problem is, right? If nobody knows, if there's anybody among us that knows the problem, it's, it's, it's AK, right? Right? I think we could agree on, on that, that the problem is the corruption I guess, I, I mean, where I see my place for whatever reason is in the solution. See, I, I can come on here and tell you all of the things that HA is talking about in terms of the corruption, right? And get, oh, get so irate. Oh, these fuckers, they're on TV again lying. They're making up this fucking story. Did you hear what Rachel Maddow said? He's saying, she's still saying fucking Russia and... And and Wolf Blitzer's reading off the teleprompter, telling you Mueller is gonna they're closing in, and and the Clintons are gonna get locked. In, right? It's all fucking. It's a shit show, right? We have to live in the solution. We have to find a solution to the problem, right? That income and wealth inequality in this country is disgusting. Where, you know, where seventy percent of the wealth in our country goes to the top one-tenth of one percent and 99 percent of the people are fighting over crumbs now these are not theories these are not these are not this is not speculation this is not fantasy football this is these are facts based in numbers where one in seven people are on food stamps 80 percent of the country lives paycheck to paycheck 60% of the country doesn't have $400 to their name. Those kind of statistics are staggering. And the people that, that are, you know, maybe the people, you guys watching this shit know it, right? That, that people, the American people are struggling, right? And there's this Republican idea that they are the solution, that they are better than the Democrat, right? Who's, who's, who got caught so out in the open cheating right but the republican party is really is just the other side of that where the donors now that the democrats look bad the donors take the money and they put it on the republicans and they get the same result right understand that that they get the same result the same banks the go the lloyd blank finds and the jamie diamonds and the you know the the, the the wells fargo and the Citigroup and the the apple and the microsoft and all these all these huge fucking trillion dollar corporations will now take their money and place their bets on the other party right if one party loses see how it's there's no there's no winning there you have to bring the whole thing down and make the politicians 
that are currently there either answer to us or get out of the way. And I don't see any other way than a, than a complete and total boycott at a time of our choosing. 